in control. And the reason I need you to know that God is in control is because he says in Revelation chapter 1 verse 17, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. He said, I am the first and the last. I'm the alpha and the omega. I'm the beginning and I'm the end. Hey boss babes, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Mama Sila and in today's video I am going to be doing my part one cash envelope stuffing of my taxes. This part is my California taxes. I did get a return of $1,500. Let me zoom in. And I did already allocate all of my money. I didn't pick too many envelopes. This is considered an extra income so i did just pick different areas of my sinking funds where i felt like some were a priority more than others so to begin we have my tithe i tithe 10 percent and i already took the money out of 150 dollars so let me go ahead and check that off next we have three to six month fun i did do 30 percent and 30 percent of 1500 was 450 dollars next we have ethan savings i decided to put 20 percent in there so that's 300 dollars. also for my savings i decided to put 20 percent as well and then for one two three four five six cash envelopes these are sinking funds i decided to put fifty dollars each so we have birthdays ethan's birthday car maintenance business fitness and travel so these all get fifty dollars um that is just what i decided and today ethan won't be in the video because he is taking a nap so i'm so sorry you guys really love him and just a quick update on him right now he has been in a phase where he is kind of tantruming a little bit and i know a lot of you guys say that i'm such a good mom and things like that but don't get me wrong i do get frustrated sometimes some days i can just get ticked off right away when ethan tantrums and then i get mad at myself later on I've also had mom guilt, so I know that some of you guys also have mom guilt, and sometimes you guys get easily frustrated, and you know, it is hard. Every day is a different day, but motherhood is such a blessing, and if you guys hear Ethan, I think he's waking up from his nap already. Just give me a second. Ethan! So I am back. I told Ethan that I'm going to work for 10 more minutes so I can knock this video out. When he wakes up for a nap, it usually takes him a good 30 minutes to like fully wake up. So he's just laying in bed. Um, sometimes he'll fall back asleep. He had to use the bathroom so I did go take him to go potty. But let's get started with this cash envelope stuffing. First we're going to do my sinking funds. My sinking funds are super thick, you guys. Look, this binder is so big. And I actually did condense my sinking funds, but I didn't record it. And so when I did condense it, I did update my sinking funds. So I added a total of $710 for the month of March, which is super amazing. But anyways, let me move this off to the side and first we have three to six month fund and this one is getting four hundred and fifty dollars so one two three four and a fifty so one two three four four fifty and then let's add it up and see how much we have. Okay, so we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 650, 670, 690, 700. So right now I have $700 in my three to six month bills. This is basically an extra fund for my bills and expenses just in case something may happen 
some of you guys were asking in my last video what is my three to six month fund and it's not my emergency fund my emergency fund is fully funded with a thousand dollars i do follow the dave ramsey seven steps and i believe the three to six month bills and expenses is number three on dave ramsey's baby steps but let me show you guys exactly how much i need to save for six months so right now each month my budget is about six hundred dollars and this is for just my rent my utilities and some other subscriptions and a little bit of my business expenses so for one month it's six hundred dollars if i times that by three that is eighteen hundred dollars so if i times that by six that is thirty six hundred dollars so if i were to only save up three months that's eighteen hundred dollars and then if i were to save up six months that is thirty six hundred dollars so that is just some clarification so ethan savings is going to get three hundred dollars one two three Okay, now in cash, Ethan has 100, 200, 300, 320, 330, 335, 340, 341, 2. Oh, I messed up, you guys. So, I forgot to add in this 25 from last cash envelope stuffing because I did do that a few days ago. So, I did not update this um which i'll do hopefully at the end of this video i am running out of time so now for ethan savings we have 100 200 300 320 340 350 355 360 365 366 and 367 so in cash ethan has 367 dollars and in the bank let me check how much he has because he does, I think, have like 2000 Um. Okay, so now Ethan has 19 He has $2,400 in the bank because I did deposit $500 from his savings from March. Okay, so next we have my savings. And my savings is going to get three hundred dollars. One, two, three hundred. Hola. I'm recording a video. Are we leaving soon? Okay. Maybe in ten minutes, okay? <laughs> that was my niece. All right, so now for my personal savings, I have 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 390, 400, 405, 406, and 407. So I have 407 in my personal savings in cash. And this is going to my Roth IRA. I also do have money that I deposited to already deposit into my Roth IRA account. All right, so there's that. Next, we're gonna go to birthdays. And birthdays is getting $50. So now birthdays has 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 135, and $140. Next, we have car maintenance, and car maintenance is getting $50. If you didn't watch my last video, I'll go ahead and leave it up in the cards. But I did explain that I got my new battery for my car, so that was an extra expense. Which I did get an oil change, and they checked my battery. I go to um, Valvoline, and they check everything for you while you stay in your car, and... That's been really reliable for me and one of the only shops that I go to to get my oil change. Okay, so car maintenance now has 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 250, and 255. 
so i know for a fact that i didn't spend over 250 so i'm glad i was able to stuff this i will be taking it out once i do my expenses okay so do we have christmas no we're not doing christmas next we have ethan's birthday and ethan's birthday is getting 50 dollars So now his birthday has 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 315, and 320 dollars. If you're new, his birthday, or if you don't even know Ethan, Ethan is my son, and his birthday is in July. So I think we are good and on track to his birthday fund. Next, we have fitness. And fitness is going to get $50. And I am beefing this up because I've been working on my fitness and just my health, health lifestyle, if you want to say. So now fitness has 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now fitness has 119. I did buy some pre-workout and BCAs, so I will be taking out money out of here as well. Okay, for my last sinking fund, we have travel. Travel is getting $50. So let's just add this in here. Now travel has 100, 150, 170, 180, 185. I'm saving up maybe for a trip to Texas to visit my niece and nephews as well as take Ethan. He is no longer free, which is kind of sad. Um, I really did take advantage of the free ticket. We went to Texas and Washington, and then I think we also went to Texas again. So we took three trips for free for him because when you're under two, the child could sit on your lap. All right, so last but not least, I do have my business envelope that I want to fill up. I haven't deducted any money since February from my business checking account as well as from March expenses. So I'm a little bit, a little bit behind on my business budget and finances, but that is only because I've been really busy. So now my business envelope has 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 400, wait, right, right, yeah, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 465, 66. So let me count that again, 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 66. So this has $466. And for this, some of the money I'm saving up for more things for my business. And then the extra money i do have to pay myself back for all of the inventory and expenses from february and march i also do have a couple of hundred dollars in my business account to also deduct um so this number right here in cash is not accurate of all of the money that i have but with that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in. I love you all so much and I'm so excited for part two of my taxes because I got over $4,000. I'm just waiting on it. So hopefully it hits my account soon and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys.